Hi, this is take number 60,002 of my attempt to explain to you the MTRA1298C mutation and what that does for the MTHFRA1298C uh, enzyme for which it encodes. MTHFR, I'm going to put the MTHFR uh, pathway up for a minute. And I'm going to tell, re refresh your mind in that MTHFR A1298C changes 510 methylene tetrahydrofolate into 5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. And that 5 methyl group goes up and attaches to MTR. Then homocysteine from cycle number four goes up and attaches to MTR. Then MTRR keeps the B12 in the area in its reduced state. And when all those things have been accomplished, MTHFR, uh, uh, when all those things have been accomplished, MTR puts the 5-methyl group from tetrahydrofolate onto homocysteine, and that changes it back into methionine again. So that's how the C677 enzyme works. MTHFR A1298C controls the SAMI in your body because it has, at the A1298C site, it has a receptor that, uh, that interprets the level of SAMI in your body, and if it gets too high, it switches on a re that receptor, which makes cycle number four go in a retrograde direction and take apart the SAMI that's in your body, and cycle number three also goes in a retrograde direction, um, just completely dismantle, well, not completely, but it significantly dismantles the um, conversion of homocysteine into methionine, and hence the met number of methyl groups that are produced in your body. Let me take this chart down for a minute. So, um, so, MTHFR A1298C enzyme performs a regulatory function, and the MTHFR A1298C area of the MTHFR gene is where that regulatory function is located. If you ever get too many SAMI group, uh, too many methyl groups, you will not be a happy camper. Um, you will experience uh, adrenal stress and other symptoms of dysregulation. You may get as far as bipolar disorder. Um, too many methyl groups are not good. Uh, you don't want too few. You don't want too many. What you need is to get the methyl groups just right, just like Goldilocks wanted it. So that's the deal. If you have a mutation in your MTHFR gene at A1298C, your, your receptor will not be as sensitive to the presence of SAMI as it otherwise would have been. So you'll have a tendency for SAMI to get out of balance. You have to be careful with methyl group supplementation or you won't feel well. So we ease into it. We start, depending on what your genetics are, we start supplementing methyl groups um, slowly and work up as opposed to overload you and give yourself symptoms with methyl groups or any other supplement. So that's it for today. Thank you for coming and um, yeah, watching these humble videos. And I'm hoping to keep putting it out one link at a time. Take care. Bye-bye.